All right, today we are talking about the best ad strategy for accountants, attorneys, financial advisors, uh, really any type of professional service type of company who sells something high ticket. And this is the best ad strategy that I know of that I have found uh, in 2024. Now, before we get into this strategy that I've found, I'd want to give you some context so you can kind of compare it to a lot of the other strategies floating around on the internet today. Now, one of the most popular ad strategies and popular, not because it works well, but popular because it's easy to run and it's easy to start an agency based around this strategy is what we call the lead form strategy. So I'm going to take this on the whiteboard and just kind of walk you through the lead form strategy. So basically the way this works is we're using what's called a Facebook lead form. We'll just make that our ad. We're running ads not to an external website, but rather to a lead form. And so in this lead form, basically we're promising some kind of freebie, some kind of lead magnet, right? Maybe it's a template or a guide, maybe it's a free training. Um, and in exchange, we're getting the person's contact info. So it's like, hey, fill out this form and we'll go ahead and send you our free training on uh, you know, X, Y, Z, right? So you fill out the form and then they're going to receive an email with the freebie. But now you've got their email, potentially you've got their phone number as well. And so you can start just like emailing them and calling them uh, to try to get them to buy from you. So that's great. So email, you know, we can uh, call them. Pardon my, my bad drawing skills here. Um, we can email them, we can call them, we can even text them, right? So there's a bunch of problems with this strategy, but I'm gonna walk you through three main ones uh, and then kind of how the strategy that I tend to use for my business and I, I tend to use this same strategy for the businesses that I work with as well. So I'm gonna show you how our strategy kind of solves that uh, and deals with those issues. So problem number one is that people really don't get to know, like, and trust you. So we'll say no, like trust. People don't really get to know, like, and trust you through this lead form funnel because they're seeing a 30 second video or even worse, just like a still image. And they're clicking on this video. It's, you know, Hey, here's the problem you face. If you face this problem, I've got this free lead magnet that you can download this free guide. Just put your info in here and we'll send it to you via email. There's no sense of no like, and trust here. Usually the free guide is some kind of like, you, you just kind of slapped it together, right? Cause you're trying to get leads really fast. And that's the reason why you're using this lead form strategy to begin with is you want leads fast, not necessarily you want good leads. And so they're spending 30 seconds with you on the ad. They get an email from you with this guide. That's, you know, maybe it's a couple pages long. Maybe it's got some really valuable info in there. <laughs> maybe not. A lot of the times it's kind of not actually that applicable to the people who would become high ticket clients for you. And this is literally like the most important step in your ad funnels ever is what happens after they click on the ad. But problem number two that I wanna get into here is the leads tend to be really low quality. And the reason for this is generally because these people are staying on the platform, right? So they're clicking on an ad, this ad is taking them to a form that's still on the Facebook platform. And so these people are only used to interacting with you on Facebook's platform. We want to get them off Facebook's platform. We want to get them into our funnels, onto our website. Uh, we want to get them reading our emails and paying attention to that stuff. And the way you start this process out is what's going to kind of set the stage for future interactions with your brand. So we want to get them off platform as quickly as possible because we're giving Facebook as little control then over whether or not we're able to get clients. And by the way, this third problem is interesting because it's not actually a problem with the, the lead form system specifically, but it's more so a problem with how people uh, actually implement the lead form system is it's a poorly automated sales process. Okay, so a lot of times when businesses start to use these lead form ads, they don't have a good manual sales process to begin with. Uh, it's kind of all over the place. You know, you maybe have one salesperson who's really killing it and a bunch of sales reps who are kind of okay. And the, the difference between them is literally just their skill and their individual ability. You don't have kind of some set process that everybody's following and it's, you know, creating really good results across your entire team. Or even more commonly, you as the entrepreneur are still the one doing your, your sales process. You're the one uh, hopping on calls with clients. You're the one following up with clients. You're the one doing basically the entire process. And so if you don't have this system down on paper just to do manually 
for you and your team, you certainly can't automate it and make it work well. This is just because of the types of businesses that tend to use lead form ads. You could do a good job automating this process if you have a good sales process to begin with. This is actually part of what we do with a lot of our clients is we do a really well put together automated sales process with some certain manual touch points for those places where you just need a human's kind of kind of touch on it. So this is the lead form strategy. This is kind of the issue with the lead form strategy. And what I want to walk you through here instead is the VSL uh, funnel, uh, which is what I personally use in my business. This is what uh, most of the businesses I work with end up using just because it works so, so well. So let me walk you kind of the flow uh, for the VSL funnel. So step number one is we've got our ad, right? So we're running ads on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube. Um, and by the way, this could work for organic too, right? If you're really good at getting views organically just on social media, just by like posting content, then maybe you don't even need to run ads, but we're sending these this, this traffic to a landing page, okay? We'll call that LP for landing page. And so on this landing page, we're promising some kind of free training. Uh, so for me, it's a free training on how to get perfect fit clients uh, for your business. For you, maybe you're if you're an accountant, it's uh, how to increase profitability by 10%, you know, your landscaping business, whatever kind of clients you work with, right? But you're promising this free training and all they got to do is submit their contact info. So, so far, this is similar. The biggest difference is we're just taking them off platform onto our website, right? Now, immediately, instead of, great, thanks for the contact info, we'll email you the video, immediately they're going to get taken, and this is my uh, video representation here. Um, it's not that great, but um, immediately after they submit their info, they're going to get taken to an, the next page, which is the actual VSL, and that stands for video sales letter. So this free training that we're promising is what we call a video sales letter. And essentially this is part educational, like free resource that's valuable to them and part sales asset that's warming them up and, and turning them into a prospective client for us. This is where we build that no like, and trust factor that we were talking about is completely missing uh, with the lead form strategy, right? So we're building no like, and trust in this VSL. Usually it's anywhere from five to maybe up to 15 minutes long. And after they watch this VSL or, uh, usually during while they're watching the VSL, they're going to, a button's going to pop up on the, the page that allows them to book a call with us. So, um, I'll just make that book a call. So they watch the VSL or they watch at least part of the VSL button pops up. They're now able to book a call with us. And so if they like what they're hearing in the VSL and they're interested in having us help them do it or having us do it for them, then they're going to go ahead and book a call. Now, what do we do for those people who aren't just like immediately ready to buy, right? Because sometimes you might find people that are just like ready to buy, like I need this thing today. And sometimes you're going to find people are, you know, maybe they take a little bit more time to warm up to the, the idea, right? Even though this video sales letter was killer and there was nothing you could have done better in the VSL. Uh, they just need more time to kind of think about it, time to realize how much a problem they have, how much they need help with the solution, whatever it might be, right? If you're in the tax industry, then there's, you know, there's a ton of seasonality to what you do, right? So this is where we bring in what we call the lead safety net. And in this example, this lead safety net, we're grabbing their contact info here and they're booking a call here, but what if they don't book a call, right? So maybe they watch part of the VSL, they get distracted because their wife's in the other room and calls their name, and now they forget they were even doing that in the first place, right? And so this is where we use some email marketing as our safety net to get them to book a call. So I'm gonna go email, Um, and then get them to book a call. So usually what we do is we've got a set sequence of seven to 10 emails that's gonna get sent to them uh, immediately after they opt into your landing page. And this is assuming they don't book a call here, right? So they opt in, they don't book a call. We've got this email sequence that's going out to them. And this sequence is gonna be trying to get them to book a call. So for those people who need a little bit of time to realize that they need help with their marketing or their accounting, whatever you do, right? For those people, that's what this sequence is set up for. And so over the next 10 days, we're going to strategically be walking them through our customer journey 
day by day by day. And so that means we're sending them some value content, maybe a podcast you were on or something like that. That means we're sending some authority content. Maybe if you uh, if you did a talk at like a live event or something like that, that some, something people in your industry would recognize, that could be really valuable, builds you up as an authority in their mind. Uh, and we're gonna send them some like case study or testimonial content. So it's not just you telling them how great you are, but it's also other people talking about how great you are and how much you, you your company was able to help them out. And so for those people, you know, it maybe takes a few extra days. Maybe there was some information we were missing in the VSL that we cover in these emails, and that's what gets them to book a call. Now, there's going to be another subset of people who take even longer, right? Maybe they're not even qualified to work with you right now. Maybe they don't make enough money that your service would make sense for them. But eventually, one day, six months from now or a year from now, maybe they are qualified. And so that's where our general email list comes in here. I'm going to use green now. And so we get these contacts from our landing page. We're building up our general email list. And we're, uh, we're sending emails maybe three to four times a week just into infinity, okay? And so these people, for as long as they're on our list, until they either unsubscribe or they actually end up buying from us, they're going to get emailed three to four times a week, and we're trying to get them to book a call, okay? And so we're constantly week after week after week, warming them up, getting them to know, like, and trust you even more. And so by the time they're actually ready to pull the trigger, they're so warmed up, they're so hot, there's nobody else in their brain who could possibly solve this problem for them except for you because they've been getting your emails, they've been seeing your content, they saw your VSL way back when they first opted in. Like you are in the forefront of their mind as the person who can obviously help them solve this problem that they're facing. So you can see here, we're solving the problem of no like and trust with our video sales letter, right? We're solving the problem of low quality leads with the ads and taking people off platform as quickly as possible. What's the third problem? The third problem is our poorly automated sales process. And the way we're solving that, I've actually made an entire separate video on it because it's pretty in depth. So if you wanna check that out, it's the first link in the description down below. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.